Jawan Evans has been a winner everywhere he's been because he makes everybody else around him a better basketball player. Uh, there's not many point guards that are going to be faster or quicker than Jawan Evans. He has a great understanding of the game and he's extremely unselfish. He's got some toughness about him as far as willingness to learn. And that, that, that's a toughness. We tell our guys, oh, you got to be tough enough to be willing to take criticism and look the coach in the eye and say, yes, sir, I'm going to go try to do that and not make excuses. He's one of those guys that's so willing to want to learn and get better. Class 2015, number four, Jawan This year, Oklahoma State introduces a new face to the court. As an NBA top 100 player out of high school, he's something to be excited for. Freshman year, um, averaging about 19 a game. Uh, end up making it to state, but end up losing uh, in the state championship game by like 12 points. So, I mean, it was a great freshman year. But freshman year was just a preview, as Evan's sophomore year was even bigger. I was averaging about 25, 26, about 7 to 8 rebounds and about 10 assists a game. So, I had a big, had a big year that year. It didn't take long for Evans to grab attention of college teams as he received his first offer from the University of Cincinnati after just the first game of his sophomore season. That just surprised me, uh, being as in as our first game. And uh, they was there watching me, you know, I got their offer, so it was just a great thing. His freshman year was played at Southside High School, his sophomore year at Legacy Charter High School, both in South Carolina. His third year meant his third school, but this time, in Dallas, Texas. Uh, this the move was it was a big move, big difference, you know, in being in big cities. Uh, I wasn't used to it yet, you know. I had, I ain't know really anybody, so I really just stayed in the gym, you know, trying to get better. And uh, I came out uh, good in my junior year. Uh, we ended up making it to state. Uh, we ended up winning actually, so it was my first state ring. Uh, so I mean, it was a great. It was, I had a great junior year too. You know, I started off bad, but ended up going good. To get his name out there and work on his game even more, Evans went to multiple camps. I went to Kyrie Irving, uh, NBA Top 100, the Reebok, Reebok Breakout Camp, so great camps, you know, uh, uh, worked on my game better. Uh, it's, a, it's a challenge, you know, uh, going against the top uh, guards in the country and playing with them, so uh, you just have to come, come play hard every day. So. His successes at these camps and school had colleges like Illinois and USC pulling for Evans. But in the end, he chose to be an Oklahoma State Cowboy. Basically, just the perfect fit for me, you know, the team and the coaching staff, you know, it's like a big family, closer to home too, so my mom can come down here when she wanted to. And he's already comfortable in his new home. Oh, I love it, you know, you got, uh, it's just a great crowd, yelling and screaming all the time when you score or when you get a stop or something like that, I mean, so I'm loving the environment. The hype around Jawan Evans is no joke. He's something great. Just ask some of his teammates. Oh, Jawan Evans, oh, he's like a, a baby Chris Paul. But it, now, like, I'm trying to help Jawan out, you know. He's already, you know, better than me. I mean, Jawan coming in, he's a, he's a scorer himself. He just doesn't know it yet. I'm learning from him, so I mean, this is a great thing. So right now, I'm just, just trying to focus on this year, just uh, trying to have a great year for my teammates. For the Port, I'm Lucas Messina.